Hey guys, Merchant here. Uh, I'm going to do a slightly updated version of the video I did about adding no creatures to your Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, first thing, of course, is that you need to have Feed the Beast. So make sure you go to Feed the Beast and pick up the launcher. Now, if you already have the launcher, then you sh should have no problems except that uh, this is where you download and launch it right here get the client, uh, get the EXE or the JAR depending on whether you're using Windows, Mac or Linux based system uh, <coughs> one thing you should know is that when I tried to update mine recently um, let me say this here, Hold on. let me get my icons back so we start the launcher. Now, when I was messing with the launcher before, I had only recommended up to four. It didn't give me five, and it didn't seem to want to update. What I had to do was I had to go into my uh, percentage app data percentage right there, which you would find normally uh, on most of your Windows. I got Windows 8, so on older Windows, you're going to go to the Start menu over here and search for percentage app data percent and then you're going to want to go to oh, where's the feed the beast launcher should be in here how come I don't see it <laughs> ah there it is uh, blind today um so I had to erase this entire folder. Once I erased that, everything was fine. It, it loaded a new one and had the correct recommended version of 5.01, I guess it is. So, when you're in here, um, for our server, you want to select Direwolf. Make sure that the Direwolf pack is already loaded in, so make sure you've launched it at least once, which most of you probably have. Uh, go to Edit Mod Folder. Okay. You're going to need to download uh, Dr. Zonk's Mo Creatures and the other mods that it requires. So go to Minecraft Forum. Uh, this is the page right here. Okay, after all these videos and all this junk, you got to uh, download the mod. Uh, first, Feed the Beast already includes Forge, so you don't need to mess with that. Okay, uh, download. Mo creatures right there. Don't miss that one. Download the custom mob spawner right there. And download the GUI. Now when you download these, let me show you this too. It goes to a thing called AdFly. You have to wait for it to go a few seconds up here. Uh, don't be tricked by all the ads that pop up. <laughs> uh, that should be it right there. You hit download and it should pop up down here. Get rid of that crap. Alright. Oops, I lost my pages. Anyway, so you download the custom mob spawner, the GUI, and the uh, mo creatures. Uh, you would hit add mod, uh, go to wherever you downloaded them. Uh, most of mine are in documents and mods, which I sp did all stupid. <laughs> Got that capital O and looks real retarded. Um, so you would hit Dr. Zonk and you would hit open and it would add it in over here, but I already have it in, so I'm not going to do that. And then you would hit custom mob spawner and you would add that into mods. Okay. And then you would go to jar mods and you would add the GUI in the jar mods. And you hit add mod. Okay. If you ever want to take them out, you just select it and then you hit disable and then you can re-enable. Okay. So that's what you need is you need mo uh, you need Dr. Zonk's mo creatures, you need uh custom mob spawner in the mods, you need custom you need the GUI API over here in jar mods. And then once those are done you just close it up and hit launch. Again, if you have not already added the mod pack in before you try to add those other mods. 
uh, it'll say there's an update of the mod pack and you want to do that and you update it and it's going to get rid of the mods that you added so you may have to do it twice if something like that comes up don't be discouraged uh, so if I go in here I'm just going to show you the mo creatures real quick and then uh, I'm going to sign off and I will be on this server a little bit later today, but I think I'm going to show off a different server that's got like just one mod in it that we're going to take a look at. And of course, I don't see any extra animals right now, and it's a bit laggy. Oh, there's a bee. My frame rate's definitely kind of messed up right now, so because I'm not recording in game the way I normally would because I wanted to show you the desktop stuff. So anyway, got a little bee flying around. I don't see much else right now. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a few minutes for you to get on before things start spawning around you. Scorpions are on here. Of course it's doing this because I want to show you stuff. <laughs> There's a scorpion. It's like, where are you scorpions? You're always around. There's some slime horses. They're annoying because they break into a bunch of slime. The rat. Alright. So yeah. There you go. Pretty straightforward. Uh, not too difficult. You guys should be able to figure it out without too much trouble, hopefully. And, uh, There's a bat horse flying over there. And I shall see you later.